Hi, I'm Phil Robson. I'm the dad of the family. Hi, my name's Emily and I'm about to move to Taiwan. Hello, my name is Dudley and um, I, I'm the little brother of the family and I like to game. Hi, I'm Phil Robs. I'm 49 and I'm moving with my wife, Carrie, two kids, Emily and Dudley, and the dog, Dougal, from the UK to Taiwan. We're in a suburban small town, sometimes referred to as Middlesex, and at other times, Surrey. Just near to Heathrow Airport, 45 minutes by train to London Waterloo, southwest of London. Am I having a midlife crisis? The job's gone a bit stale that I was doing. The company has hit hard times, and that was before the pandemic. And I anticipate the business to either fail or cut members of staff. Would I be one of those members to be cut? Probably. To me, it's an absolute government failure. I didn't vote for it. I don't want it. Being able to go from country to country anywhere in Europe is amazing for both business and pleasure. Take that away, I could see no benefits at all. It's a government failure on massive levels for me. Let everyone get it, they said. It won't happen to us. There was the Cheltenham Festival where 250,000 people went to watch horse racing. There was a Champions League soccer match or football match between Liverpool and Atletico Madrid held in Liverpool. Over 270 people have died in Merseyside during the outbreak and there have been more than 1,250 confirmed cases of the virus in Liverpool. People say, how could the government have known? It's, that, it's as though the British government had no idea that a pandemic could possibly happen. Just watch the Hollywood film Contagion made in 2011 it maps exactly what happened panic buying r rates lockdowns failing economies looting riots devastation the idea that government didn't know that this could happen is ludicrous they have science advisors telling them what can happen the fact that italy already had a thousand dead when we got our first case in the uk we clearly should have re reacted immediately the government were clearly focused on Brexit. And what happens after all of this? Will the economy survive in the UK? I can't see it. With the pandemic, the furlough scheme, the borrowing, the economy, coupled with Brexit, I can only see hard times ahead for everyone in Britain. Brexit without the coronavirus was a terrible idea. And with it, it's complete madness. I can see that it could also lead to a collapse of the EU. This could lead to even harder times for everyone in Europe. Hard times in history have often led to wars. And then there's my locality, my little town. I lived here most of my life. It's already dying High Street. The shops are all closed up. They are all just service industry. Coffee shops are good, but the rest is all funeral parlors, nail bars hairdressers there's no shops pretty much and there's an influx of 350 new homes being built on the high street but no new doctors no new dentists no new schools where is everybody going to go the traffic will be terrible and with economic hard times and overcrowding it inevitably leads to a rise in antisocial behavior the opportunity to move towards a passive income instead of an active income along with all of these other things are the main reasons that I want to move from the UK to Taiwan.